Okay, I'm assuming we gotta get like over there. I think I gotta get in there. See like these coming out from the ceilings. I wonder if those are something we gotta do interact with. I haven't seen the guy show up. But I'm assuming he's going to. Alright, so we just gotta save. over there. We gotta get to there and there. Let's get to that one and then that one. Alright, that dude's kind of clear. Clear. That dude's kind of close to that. No, it's kid. There he is. So he's over there. God. <laughs> okay, so right over there. I'm just gonna run, 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 run. Okay, he's coming this way. I think he's like right here. God, don't look this way. Okay, so I gotta get in there.
retired, cyber athlete, 24, violent, cardio, fix, spasms. Oh, okay, kind of taking need a short little breather. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. That was freaking crazy. Holy shit. I can't believe that guy didn't see me. Like there were there were two parts where I was so sure he was gonna catch me. Alright, what the hell are these? Oh, clowns. I don't wanna look at clowns. Oh thank you. I don't like clowns. So I'm not going to... Oh, sh... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that scared the shit out of me. That, not so much. Do I have to like go to it and allow it to grab me or something? Grab it. Assuming I gotta plug it into something right there. Ago. I can I, I can hardly see anything. Alright, so I plug that thing in. There's that door. Oh, do I drag it and plug it into that? Did 
This is so fucking weird, man. Here? Like that? Am I doing this right? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm gonna go back real quick if I can. Okay, I can't. What if I plug this? Can't, okay. over here This is so confusing Me. Okay, right there. Okay, but I mean, hmm. here no that's where we came so I guess it's fall to the light another download Okay. 
Looks like we got all of it. So, what is all of this stuff, exactly? It's probably best if you don't know. Exactly. It's not anything nasty, is it? Like, a virus or some top-secret weapon type shit? <laughs> no. Nothing like that. What then? I mean, what could possibly be worth the risk? The future. Um, I, I'm guessing I have to get to that pillar of light without maybe being spotted. I can't move, so I think we're going to get spotted. I think I just have to get there without getting spotted. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh shit. Okay, let's try to squeeze between these two. Hopefully that doesn't turn around. Okay, gotta watch out. Shit! <sighs> so there's no point in ducking, because they can see you. I'm just gonna keep my eyes up. What we'll fights in the fields but I stay still? So we got that, we got that one. Let's not move. run I don't think I could do this anymore I think they're on to me you're being paranoid no one's on to you you don't get it every time I go in there it's like they're all watching yesterday this executive creep gave me this look like I, I could just tell he knew. If they knew, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe they're just messing with our heads. And what purpose would that serve? 
I don't know, to get their fucking sadistic load off? That's not how they operate. Trust me. I was with the corporation long enough. Okay. Hopefully that creature doesn't show up again. See that? That means that one of the cards is around here. There it is. Uh, 25 classified, ready for disposal. I think we go this way. Yep, 104. That's our apartment. Fuck is that? Get out of here! Run! Get help! They're here. They come for us. Help me. You need to. Oh shit. Am I going? I am control. I am. Don't lie to us. dead birds just raining dead birds Jesus it didn't have to be this way Oh, 
Jesus. Okay, that was trippy. <laughs> oh, shit. When I was running somewhere, I saw the code 3615 etched in her mind. It has to unlock something nearby. Now we still got the organ dealer. Can we take one more pill? Yes. Alright, let's not take any more because yeah, if I take too much, my vision starts getting all fucked up. Oh, what's this? Alright. Three six one five, was it? Let's give it a shot. Did that do anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, what's this? Rutger Hair. Male occupation. Augmentation dependency therapist. Classified. Age of death 48. Ready for disposal. Oh. <laughs> Especially now that he's like actually dead. Anything to scan? No. It's cash register. Chill counter. Chop shop. Just what we need. This is uh from the dream. Uh waste disposal technician, severe mutilation so severe self mutilation. Here, can scan this An encrypting station. Oh, there's more stuff here. This place is a fucking slaughter. There is a guy waiting for you in one of two.
What's this? <laughs> Synchrosy collected. Oh, it's a decrypting station. seen these before. This will help me decrypt the figurine. Uh, List of subject. Terminated. What the hell have you been doing? Responsive bipolar sword, fully responsive neurotic depression, extreme dysphoria, fully responsive, appears fully cognitive, terminated, 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 irredeemable. Jeez. Alright, so listen through all these. July 6th, 2083. Finally managed to set up a workspace. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Unfortunately, the first trial proved unsuccessful to say the least. You'd think after five years of working on this project, my know-how would be sufficient, but without my data, this looks to be a long and bumpy road. July 25th, 2083. I made some unlikely allies. They might be able to assist me in my research, help me retrieve my data from Chiron. I wasn't planning on involving others, Makes the whole endeavor even riskier than it already was. But I need to be realistic about this. An undertaking of this magnitude, I need all the help I can get. <sighs> September 2nd, 2083. Finally got some of my data back for all the good it did. Subjects are proving unstable. Limited faculties, mental disorders, they just seem broken, incomplete. Uh, the latest one. Well, he uh, he just started screaming, and he never stopped. I had no choice but to terminate. I can still hear him. September sixteenth, twenty eighty-three. I haven't been getting much sleep. Drugs do have a decent job of keeping me awake, but the physical limitations are slowing me down. <clears throat> As they tend to do, I feel like the answer is staring me right in the face, and I'm missing it. Maybe I'm not as smart as I'd like to think. Maybe I'm just destined to fuck up, to fail everyone. Seems to run in the family. Project. Oh, fuck. Shit. I, uh. I, uh. Uh. I, I don't. I don't remember what day it is. The dreams are getting worse. No doubt a side effect of the stimulants. I just need to ask Jeff to adjust the dosage. Um, what's worse is I think my subconscious is starting to seep into my waking hours. The other day I could swear I heard whispering coming from the black box. Since that's clearly impossible, I have to attribute the symptoms to sleep deprivation. don't put much stock in dreams but this one was so vivid I 
I dreamt of my last day at Chiron. I was back in the boardroom. The executive giving me the same condescending look, telling me to grow up, to move on. Only this time, his face was different. It was a sneering mask of contempt and disapproval. It was the face of my father. Okay. So what does this thing do? Oh. What was that? Looks like there's something under there. Oh, I think I know what to do. Okay. So it looks like there's something here, and then we see the hook there. So I think I gotta move this to either right or left. I don't know if that's something. Move the table to one side, have the hook come down, hook the grate, and then pull the grate up. That's my guess. Yeah. Uh. Some slack. Oh, come on. Can I grab it? Yeah. Oh, I have to hold on to the. Bolted down. Can't get it open with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And then just pull it up. Let me just move right here so we can get a better angle of this. All right. I think that's everything in here. I don't think I can like take these eyes. Even though it said someone in room 201, I think, was waiting for him. Seven. Case log updated. Find a way out of the uh, basement. The tunnel led me under the building. Need to find my way through this maze and get back to the upper floors. Maybe there's someone here who could help me. Okay. <laughs> this one have a uh, ooh zero zero four. This one have a uh, fun to call. No. All right, so let's go check out zero zero four. No. Okay, and then we had zero zero one. there it 
I think I can interact with what's in here. Oh. Uh, 30, ready for disposal. He was a neural stimulant vendor. Ask you some questions. Hey, pig. You killed anyone yet? What? No. Come on, don't give me that. I can smell it all over you. I know a guilty conscience when I see one. How about you? You sound like a real killer. Shit. Takes one to know one, you know what I'm saying? I did my time. I've been squeaky clean ever since. I heard that before. Say, man, you don't look like a regular cop. That thing on your... Oh, shit. You're a... Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I didn't mean nothing by it, okay? I, I, I gotta go. Okay. the scan two oh two or zero zero two I should say not two oh two then I think I already interacted with that yeah Can't scan anything here. Chiron is this problem? Quoting chair. Locked. Assuming all these are locked. Yeah. Okay, looks like the chair disappeared. seem to have gotten lost down here. Could you point me to the nearest exit? Oh, 
Yes, I understand completely. Completely. It really is a maze down here, don't you think? Yeah, it's very confusing. So, about the exit? All right. Go past the noisy noises, and then straight ahead up the stairs, and there you go. Thank you. Just be careful. Don't stray from the path. You are a child of light, Daniel. Much too precious to get lost in the dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Maria. Okay. I don't know if that really helped us. Oh, I see this, so. Uh, classified age 40, urban refinement coordinator. Remove your implant. stairs what's that radio yeah anything else Computer. Uh, is there anything else? No. About body scan. No. Any pictures? No, I'm not seeing any. Okay, let's go see that computer. Hopefully, there's another uh, spider game. So let's see if there's anything else on the desk. No. Nah. Yeah, level nine. Body spiders again. Okay. Do I want to get this one's attention?
Okay. I don't think I want to get any more up. I think I want to kill... This one. Now the question is, what do I do here? If I grab, I can grab this one. Should be able to do this now, right? There we go. Oh man. <laughs> oh, these are getting like harder and harder and harder. Okay, uh, no data. Down in the dark. Alice Kaminsky takes us on a throwing tour of the city's criminal underbelly. Oh, that's the uh, auto reading. Cut his finger off. Those are the first words Roach ever said to me. His grizzled face didn't show a flicker of emotion. He said it as matter of factly as if asking for a cigarette. Except he wasn't asking. The owner of this soon to be detached finger was a low level member named Flea, who had made the unfortunate mistake of displeasing his boss. Now it's time to make amends. I didn't hesitate for a second. I'm not sure how well that speaks of me, but it's the truth. Think of it now, I know it was a reasonable thing to do. Refusing what was considered an honor would jeopardize the entire operation and made me, at best, a pariah. Too weak to even, uh, too weak to be even spoken to. That wasn't my main motivation. At least not at the time. Truth is, I felt compelled to do it. Maybe it was the tone of Roach's voice, the kind of icy, dispassionate delivery that commands fear and respect more than threats ever could. For a moment, that room became my whole reality. There was only the family and the task at hand. It took me a few tries to sever the man's finger. The blade was in the sharpest and I couldn't quite get through the bone. Each strike was followed by a roar of laughter from the other gang members. The man I was cutting laughed as well, in between grunts of pain. When I finally got it done, he stared in my eyes, not with anger or hate, but with genuine gratitude. I helped him redeem himself. So I begun my second week with the pests. Roach, flee, the pests. Yes, it's a running theme. No, it's not cute or funny or quaint. You join the family, you're given a name, your true name. No matter how ridiculous it may sound, none of your kin will ever make it a laughing matter. The theme symbolizes unity and the names themselves lose any prior meaning. Until, of course, you give it a new one. A name like Roach might not sound like much to a regular person, but to the pests, it was synonymous with strength, authority, and absolute devotion. To them, it lost any and all connotation with the tiny creature scurrying off under the fridge when you turn the lights on. It was the name of the man they would die or kill for. Editor's note. This is an excerpt from Alex Kaminsky's investigative journal, Diary of a Pest, My Four Years in the Stacks. The book is available for download now exclusively on Archetype. Oops. I wanted to see if there's an email. There is. Transportation ASAP. Hey, got your message. Calling it short notice would be an understatement, but I think we can make it work. Gather your stuff and meet me tomorrow outside the building, back alley near the hot old hotel. Come alone, I see more than one person and the deal's off. 6 a.m. sharp, don't be late, funnel. Uh, I need to skip down. Hey, don't panic, man, think this through. If they knew where you were, why would they give you a head start? What if it's a trap? Maybe they're trying to flush you out, get you out in the open. You ask me, you should stay right the fuck where you are. Lay low, JJ. Uh, they found me. They know I'm here. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure of it. Found a dead bird outside my door earlier today. It's their calling card. Can't be a coincidence. I've already got in touch with someone who can get me out. He'll be here tomorrow. It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg, but fuck it. What other choice do I have? The buzzards don't forget, and they sure as hell don't forgive. Ari. Okay.
KPD. Can I talk to you? What's up with the fucking lockdown? I want that thing lifted. Right the fuck now. Wasn't my call, but I'm on it. We'll get to it then. Chop chop. Okay. I need you to take it easy. Just stay in your apartment, have a cup of coffee, and let me take care of this. You think you can fucking order me around? Sebastian, shut your fucking mouth. I just put the fucking kid to sleep. Keep out of this, Jessica. We're fucking talking to you. I think we're about done. See you later. Hey, don't you fucking walk away from me. Fucking pig. All right. Everyone in this place is abnormal. <laughs> right, those are the stairs we came from. Right? Yeah, but there's nothing else in here. Okay, uh, I guess we can go this way. Alright, those are stairs. Uh, shit. 